Hello and welcome to my video on using two-factor authentication to secure your favourite websites. I made this video after some of my friends had various passwords hacked to some of the mainstream websites and they asked how they could increase their password security. They all understood the importance of strong passwords but that is only part of the story to securing your, your identity. Using two-factor authentication increases your security significantly. Not only do you use your conventional password, but also I'm going to show you how you can add a second layer of security by using a unique code sent to a device such as your mobile phone or tablet by means of a text message or an authenticator app such as Google Authenticator. My personal favourite authenticator is the Google Authenticator and I find that works well across multiple platforms including Amazon, PayPal and Facebook to name but a few. Most of the major websites do support two-factor authentication. However, none of them do a very good job at publicising this or telling you how to configure it. So, in my little video series, I'm going to show you how to do, how to do just that and enable two-factor authentication on your favourite websites to secure your password from hackers. So, what is an authenticator app? Like, or go like Google Authenticator. These apps are free of charge and available via your Play Store or iTunes Store. When installed, you have to set them up to use various websites and you will get a display on your Google Authenticator app similar to what I have here. It contains a list of all the websites and the one-time password codes that are associated to that website. As you'll see on the screen, these codes change after about 30 seconds, so they are valid for a very short period of time. When you come to use them, you will log into the designated website via your username and password, as you do today, but you will also be asked to enter a one-time passcode as well. To get this one-time passcode, you simply go to the Authenticator app and type in the number that is displayed next to your website. So in order to set our two-factor authentication in PayPal, at the top of the screen on the blue bar, click on the uh, white cog. That'll take us to our summary page. And uh, from there, we click on the security um, menu option. And then uh, a second option down is two-step verification. So across on the right hand side, we click on the setup option. And here we can either set up um, two-factor authentication via a text message to a phone, or in our case, we'll use the Authenticator app. So we'll select the uh, Authenticator app button and then click on setup. So now if we take our mobile device in the Google Authenticator app, we can scan the barcode and that will put it into our application and we'll display a one-time password right beside it. And we'll type that password here into the authentication code box. And then we'll click on confirm and that will then validate our code and as you can see, it's successfully set up two-factor authentication on this account. You can set up a second backup option, but for now, we'll simply close this down. Uh, we'll log out of PayPal and then uh, log back in again to make sure everything is working as expected. So uh, enter our user ID and our password, as you've always done in the past. But this time now, we'll get a additional box to enter the six digit code of our authenticator app and after a couple of seconds of validating there we are we're into the system and we're all working i hope you found that useful thank you for watching and goodbye